good morning dear students today i am going to explain the chapter 18 the second exercise that is 18 b it has only eight uh, nine questions already you have studied about the congruency of the triangles here you are going to show the triangles congruent how will you show the triangles congruent you all know the properties of the uh, congruency of the triangles S S S when the three sides are equal. S A S when two sides and the containing angle is equal. A S A two angles and the containing side is equal. Then and the fourth one is R H S when we have these four properties then we can say that the triangles are congruent. So here I am going to begin the exercise. The first question is that the figure is given. You have P O R is P O R. This is S and Q. P Q and R S bisect each other. It is given that P Q and R S bisect each other. Bisect means Divide into two equal parts and prove that P R is equal to Q S. You have to prove that P R is equal to Q S. For proving two triangles congruent, we need three values to be equal. So first, write all the given values. Given that, write the given value P Q and R S bisect each other. When they bisect each other, it means that the two sides are equal. O P is equal to O Q. And O S is equal to O R. This is given. The second is you have to prove. So to prove, what you are going to prove? P R is equal to Q S. If the two triangles are congruent, then we can see that their corresponding sides are equal. So let's begin the proof. When we prove two triangles congruent, then First point to write in triangles O P R and triangles O S Q. The first equal value is they have vertically opposite angles equal. Angle P O R is equal to angle Q O S. These are Vertically opposite angles. Are the two values are given equal? OP is equal to OQ and OS is equal to OR. These are given. Now we have one angle and the two sides equal. So by SAS triangle. Second, third, you can solve. Fourth, also you can solve. But I am going to explain the fourth one. Question number four. The values you will write the same values you will write. In fourth question, you have figure.
it is b p q o these are 90 degree angles this is a c s in fourth question angle a b c is bisected by b x o is any point on b x and p o q is perpendicular to b x prove that o p is equal to o q so first write given that what what is the given value angle a b c is bisected by b x it means that these angles are equal means angle a b o you can write a b o or p b o is equal to q b o because angle a b c is bisected by b x you have to prove that so write to prove you have to prove that o p o is equal to q these two sides have to prove equal let's begin the proof first three triangles each triangle p b o and triangle q b o the first equal value is angle p b o is equal to angle q b o the reason given you will write all the reasons in the bracket next is 90 degree angle angle p o b is equal to angle b o q is equal to 90 In question number eight, find the sides of each angle of equilateral triangle. This can be found from the following consideration. Why is angle B is equal to angle C? Why is angle C is equal to A? Why is angle A is equal to angle B? It is equilateral triangle. It means all angles are equal, 60 degree. So A is equal to B, B is equal to C, and C is equal to A. What is a plus b plus c? 60 plus 60 plus 60 it is 180. As we all know that the sum of the interior angle of the triangle is also 180. So you will complete this exercise, and if you have any queries, then you can ask me. Thank you.